Alrighty guys, this is Snugs on Blitz and I'm back with another video for you today. A lot of people like to play OP tanks. Big shocker, right? I'm talking the Smasher, uh, the Shark, the Chimera, the Annihilator, the Object 752. These tanks have been known to dominate the battlefield. In the right hands, they can be absolutely devastating. And even in average people's hands, suddenly they feel like they're almost godlike. But do they make you better players? No, in my opinion, because you rely on their OP-ness. And for me, they get a little bit boring. I want to play a tank that challenges me to make me a better player. And this is one such tank, the Object 274. It's a solid medium tank, but nothing to write home about. I've got two games for you on tap. I think you're gonna enjoy both of them. But before we get to our first game, I would like to ask, consider subscribing. It really does help out the channel. If you don't wanna go that far, like this video comment down below, that always helps the algorithm. Finally, if you want to take things one step further, you can become a patron of the channel or send over a one-time donation. Check the link in the description below. And of course, you can send over replays by checking the email down below. Anyway, our first game. My buddy is in the Defender Mark I. We have an Action X. Two very strong tanks. They have an Object 252, an SU-130, a 53 TP. So their medium tanks are not very strong. I'm thinking my buddy and I should be able to dominate this side. Okay, here we go. Off we go. I was hoping my buddy would head over to the right hand side and go hull down just over the hill there, but he decides to come back. That's fine. So where's he going? Uh -huh, he's going that way. That's good too. So I'm just going to use this bush here for my protection and see if I can spot up any tanks. Nothing so far. Aha! Uh -huh. We have two tanks and this guy is pushing him pretty far. Yeah, I should be able to whack him one. I saw him looking at me so I knew a shell was going to come my way. I'm going to back on up here. He took some massive damage for that so he's obviously not the best player. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to look for my opportunity, um, and I think I think we should be okay. I'm going to push on it. I'm going to risk it. I'm invisible here. I won't get lit up until I get to about here. And there he is. Boom, boom, and he is gone. So, sayonara, T-54. Now I have to deal with the Magnet, which is one of the better Tier 7 tanks, I must say. As a medium tank, it's quite strong. I need a little bit of help. I mean, just somebody to distract him. That's all I'm really asking for. Okay, I'll uh, just do it by myself. No problem. Okie dokie. One more shot. It might take another hit, but... Mm. Okay, we bounce our shots. Go on. Aha! There we go. So the SU-100 had a little bit of courage. He decided to push on in aggressively. Nice. And I'm able to sweep around here and get behind the enemy team. Is there anybody over here? Well, looky, 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 we have an AFK, so not going to take any shots in return. My team is not falling apart. Might as well just deal with him ASAP. There's nothing worse than flanking around to deal with the enemy tanks and leaving an AFK only for them to wake up and for them to start ripping you apart from the rear. So we've gotten rid of him and we've taken a lead. 5v4, but look on the mini-map, our T28 is not moving. I mean, he is as frozen as a popsicle. Not really the way I think the tank should be played. It has armor, it has three shells, can be devastating. He could push on in, but yeah, he's playing it like a traditional tank destroyer. He was able to help us out early on, but yeah, now he's got to have a little bit more courage, in my opinion. I think that was him who whacked the, was it the uh, 53 TP or object 252? I can't really see it here. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. I've got a bit of a tickle, so I apologize if I cough every now and then. Okay, I want one of these guys. Defender still not really moving, but those three shells are preventing uh, people from pushing on him. Nice shot in on the object from the rear. That's nice. Not the guy I wanted to deal with, but I'll take what I can get right now. That guy's not looking too good. Can we get rid of him? Okay, it's 5v3, but... Now it's 4v3. They do have quite a lot of hit points still, but aha! I see my opportunity. I'm going to push on in. This guy from the rear should be able to... Yep, boom, there's the glacial. He's almost dead. Come on. Okay, it's 3v3. Let's get rid of the glacial, guys. Glacial's got to go. Come on, get rid of him. Okay, I'll get rid of him. 
Maybe my buddy's on reload. I don't know. My buddy's not looking too good. So I want to keep them away from him. I'll take the hit here. I don't mind. I don't need to bait the shell. Just go ahead and hit me. Fine. No biggie. Take the hit. Yeah, I mean, I could have been Amorakt. Could have been my game over, but... I figured it's worth it rather than letting him go to town on my buddy. Unfortunately, my buddy did pay the price anyway. Thankfully, the defender will take out that guy, and this guy's going to come on around, and yeah, that's not a good move. So there you go. A solid little game. I like that little attack on the T-54 early on. It's an aggressive move, but since I was unspotted, I thought it would be okay. 2,959. Solid game. Came in first. My buddy came in second. Defender third. Action X, yeah, sorry, you, you should have done better. Okay, our second game is on Castilla. My buddy again is in the Defender Mark 1. We're lower tier this time. They have a Sent 51, they have a CC 64, they have an SU 12254, a K91, and an E75. Wow, that is a very stacked team. We have a T30, that's good. My buddy in the Defender Mark 1, as I said, the T54, a 50TP. This game is interesting, it gets a little bit crazy. Um, but I do my job, or at least what I can. Let us see how it goes. Definitely comes down to the wire, though, so you're going to enjoy this one. Okay, our team is really slowly moving into position, except our mediums. They're great, but our heavy tanks, they need to be spotting for our DDs. Otherwise, they will get lit up and vaporized. So again, one of my favorite positions here, as I don't have a hull-down beast. Not the best gun depression on this tank, so I'm just going to... Sit back a little bit. What do we got? Okay, T-54 is up there. My buddy's up there. Okay. Let's see if anybody's in the bush. Anybody? Anybody? Wow, nobody's been lit up yet. Aha! Our first taker. And he's been hit. That's nice, I think. Uh, can't quite see. Oh, yeah, he's taking a massive damage for, yeah, the first tank to be lit up. Something you don't want to be if you're not... A very good player. There's somebody at A. Who? Who knows? Don't really want to push on in. I'm just going to try and clear some area here so I can get some clean shots if they push in. That guy's not looking too good. And who have we got? Mr. Persian. I don't want to push on out because yikes! Wow, three guns would have been on me. And I bounced that shell or miss it. I can't really tell. And I got whacked in the process. So yikes. Not good news. Okie dokie. Let's see if I can deal with... Well, this guy is not the best tank. And, yeah, he hits dirt. He doesn't really know what he's doing. He needs to be hull down. Yeah, he's going to get absolutely wrecked here. Yeah. Whew. It's a rough tank to play, I'm telling you, if you don't know what you're doing in the Persian. And we've lost one tank. Oh, two tanks, but they've lost two tanks. And here comes a problem. Because this guy is an armored god. So I'm going to try and punish him. But I can't push out. So I'm trying to lure him back here. And... Yikes, I know I'm going to take a hit, so I'm going to go around him here, but I can't push him out, so I'm hitting him. I'm going to turn so I don't get whacked from the other mediums, and now I'm just going to try and... I don't know what he's doing here. Okay, well, um, since he's not turning his turret, he can't whack me, so great. Aiming in, ba-boom. Come on, good work. And thankfully, the mediums have not swarmed me yet. I was really worried about that. I'm not sure I'll be able to get away without taking any damage, but I am able to take out the T, sorry, the CC-64, maybe with the help, and oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The T-30, yeah, no, you're not the best tank for that position. So we lost our two tank destroyers, and now we've got these guys who are very healthy, and I'm not so healthy. I've got three guys rushing me. I'm like, help, 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 somebody. And I have to stop here because if I keep going... I suspect I'm going to get wrecked by the other tanks coming, so I'm just going to hold on like SOS. But these guys are just sitting there, pretty much. I mean, one of them's moving, but you guys are going to cover me. Come on, cover me. Hit this guy. Hit. Okay, one shot. I'll hit him. Can I hit him? Can I hit him? Can I hit him? I can indeed, but now they're rushing me. And yeah, it's not going to go well for me. Boom. Yep, yep. Can I reload? I don't know if I can. I, ugh. So, 2v3. Now, this guy's got a lot of armor. This guy's got plenty of armor and hit points. So, why are you going for that guy? Go for the low health tank. Uh, and our 50 TP gets absolutely shellacked there. And this... Oh, Emil, no, don't do that. Oh, oh, wide open. He's going to take one hit, two hit, three hits, and he didn't even hit his shot. So, yikes. The only saving grace is he has hit points. 
takes one hit, and he's going to need to take more than one. Thankfully, the Type 59 is not the best tank these days. It really struggles against heavy tanks, especially Tier 9. And he's struggling to get rid of this uh, 50 TP. They really need to focus the 50 TP first. They didn't do that. They've whacked the ML. That's a big mistake because he's able to take him out. Nice job there. Unfortunately, these guys bump into each other. Yeah, um, not the best players there. Nice shot there by the ML. Again, he blocks this guy. But yeah, that's probably sealed deal because he'll be able to back on up and reload. This guy will push forward. He won't be able to kill him. And there you go. So a few mistakes there, if you ask me. But it all worked out in the end. Had my teammates helped me out a little bit sooner, I think it would have been an easier game and I would have been able to do a little bit more damage, but we were able to pull out a squeaker. And yes, that is why I don't play OP tanks as much, because I want to learn how to play with weaker tanks, and when I get good at those, then I can take those skills and use them with OP tanks and really do well on the battlefield. So don't underestimate playing weaker tanks, guys. They'll make you a better player. That's all I got for you. I'll see you tomorrow. Slugs on Blitz.